live yet again. Basically, well, let me just say, first off, had a great time, Hobby Palooza, great time hanging out, um, had a chance to have my dad on the channel and kind of talk about uh, some memories and show off some cards uh, that I've picked up. I have so many out here, I figured, you know what? Let me go ahead and just make another video. I already spent this time digging all this stuff out. Uh, and, you know, there were so many things I didn't touch, of course. And uh, there's so much I pulled out that I didn't get to. So I figured I'll show some more stuff off. If anyone pops in live, awesome. If not, no big deal. And if there's any questions, I'll try and respond. Uh, obviously did not do a great job of that during the Hobby Palooza live stream, but I did read all the comments. They were awesome. I enjoyed them. And of course, I'll respond if you guys comment on the uh, video now that it's been archived. So flipping the camera back around, show off some stuff here. Obviously a big mix in the collection. I mean, got stuff from the late 1800s up to 2021. So I showed off some of this stuff during the stream. This is a recent pickup, 1920s Universal Toy, Grover Alexander. It's a John Titus, 1911 Piedmont. What up, vintage oddball cards? Hans Lobert, 1933 George Close Candy Company. Here's a Grant, Eddie Grant, 1909-11 to American Caramel Company. So, just... Didn't have time during the live stream. I mean, it was awesome. I had a lot of fun, um, and it could have it could have just gone on forever. I showed some of these bigger things up, but only had an hour. It's all time greats postcard. Robin Roberts, pretty cool one there. Richie Ashburn premium photo. That's from the early '60s. Showed off some of these sweet ones. Seal test. The Fatima cigarettes. Very, very cool. Reese Hoskins blue parallel. 64 tops giant. Nineteen eleven T two oh one Mecca cigarettes Lober and Moore nineteen seventeen Boston store Eddie Burns William Bransfield nineteen eleven Sweet Caporal Authentic obviously a little beat up, but that's okay. 1919 W514 Dode Paskert. Nineteen sixteen M one oh one Sporting News Wilbur Good Blank Back. Eighteen eighty seven gold coin N two eighty four Jack Clements. He was a catcher. Ah, oh, glad you were able to check it out, Big Scott. I was hoping you were able to check it out. I don't know if you're available tomorrow, but if I uh, have a chance to go live, would love to have you on. 1888, Goodwin Champions, Ed Andrews in an SGC2. Card is so awesome. Old Judge Gypsy Queen Cigarettes. 1919-21-514, George Witted, hand cut. It's obviously authentic only. It's a nice Darren Dalton. Kevin Stocker, extra bases. Ricky Botalico, was hoping to have a chance to uh, find a Botalico. During the stream, so we could talk about the 1996 All Star game. I attended that with my dad. We um, sat up in the 600 level at the vet. I guess I shouldn't leave these there because of the glare. 
before the game down uh down by the field I was able to get an autograph from Kenny Lofton and then my dad actually got an autograph from Bob Dole who was uh running for president that year just like completely ran into him uh in the concourse on the 600 level which was kind of funny here's a Dell Ennis this is an old newspaper clipping I believe it's from the bulletin What's up, Vester? I, I really don't follow the UFC, but obviously it's very popular. It's a 1947-66 exhibit. Jim Constanti. Cool one there. 1971 Top Super. Darren Johnson in a 7. Fifty one Burke Ross doubles, Del Ennis and Dick Schnitger. I tried to pull out a variety of cards and then I started popping out like a bunch of stuff in top loaders and slab stuff. This is Johnny Callison, Tops Giant. Really cool set. Pretty affordable too. It's an exhibits. Robin Roberts White Signature. Some different variations on those. 1985 Philly Cigna, Mike Schmidt in a nine. 1984 Tasty Cake, Mike Schmidt. 1976 Laughlin, Jim Bunning, Diamond Jubilee, Mint Nine. 84 Donruss, Mike Schmidt, Action All-Stars, Mint 9. So I really do try and add one card at least from all the different sets over the years. I've done uh, I've done pretty well, but there's still some old school stuff that I need. Some of it's obviously quite pricey. 31 W517, Charlie Klein, Handcut, VG3. It's a cool one there. 1949 seal test Phillies Kurt Simmons stickers authentic this one is signed but very cool some random slabs 93 Kenner John Crux starting lineup Chase Utley autograph from 2006 tops Allen and Ginter Nineteen eighty six Drake's Mike Schmidt hand cut. Nineteen sixty five Tops embossed Jim Bunning. Definitely not one of my favorite sets. Nineteen eighty three Donners Julio Franco Jim Mint ten. I remember as a kid finding out he came up with the Phillies and just always being upset that he wasn't with the Phils. Uh, he was. Uh, he was an all-star back in the time. Maybe won a batting title or was in the running. It's another Covington Callison. 75 tops Greg Lazinski near mint 7. 68 tops game Rich Allen in a 3. 1949 Eureka sports stamp Del Ennis in an 8. Wally Post. I know my dad would remember him. Too bad I didn't get to this one in that video. Cool card. Billy Champion. Uh, 1970 Opeachy. 1958 Tops Jack Sanford. But definitely check out all the other live streams. Uh, you can check out the archive ones from uh, Saturday and second day on Sunday. Here's a cool 2007 Topps Ryan Howard Flashback Fridays. Reminiscent of the DeLong. 1986 Topps Tattoos, Mike Schmidt in a 5. 51 Bowman, Stan Lapata in a 6. 51 Bowman, Willie Jones in a 5. 
Mike Schmidt, 88 top sticker card. Gem 10. Also features Andre Dawson. 81 Kellogg's, Mike Schmidt in a 10. Nice card. Nineteen eighty-two TCMA baseballs, greatest sluggers, Roy Sievers in a ten. Nineteen eighty-nine Opeachy Mike Schmidt box panels, hand cut in a five. Ninety-two Kellogg's Mike Schmidt in a nine. 1970 tops Mike Ryan. 89 KB Mike Schmidt, Superstars of Baseball in a 9. 78 Kellogg's Mike Schmidt, also a 9. Stacks of stuff in top loaders. Marlon Bird Auto. He was a pretty big prospect for him. He actually had a solid career. He's a nice Richie Ashburn. Just a modern Diamond Kings card. Nice Mike Schmidt from Topps Chrome. Bryce Harper. Topps Tribute. Another Harper Tribute. Beautiful Robin Roberts. Jim Bunning. Museum Collection Harper. Steve Carlton. Autograph Relic. Howie Kendrick. One of one. Auto. From Archives. They shine on the Ginter Chrome DD Gregorius. Oh, there's so much more, Scotty. This is all the stuff. I'm showing off stuff that I yanked out for the live stream that I didn't get to. There's boxes and boxes of stuff that I didn't get to. Not to mention the uh, you know, four binders worth just from the tops team sets alone. Um, obviously I have other binders with other common cards. But I just figured since I had all this stuff out, I would show some more off. Why not? Is a Wheeler Refractor, Real Muto. The Ginter Chrome Refractors are amazing. Harper. Wheeler is a Harper insert. It's a nice one. Turkey Red. Incredible shine. Great background on the Howard. Richie Ashburn. There's a Rico Bronya. I was trying to mix things up, get some guys I remembered, you know, growing up. Guys from some of the bad years, guys from the big years. There's a nice, nice dynamic duos, Coast and Hamels. Brett Myers, part of the 08 World Championship team. Currently uh, retired, making some country albums. Ricky Otero. This guy was not good at baseball. But Phillies fans from the mid-90s like to kind of laugh and kind of uh, bring up his name. He actually wasn't bad there in 96 overall, but kind of a light-hitting small guy in center field. He's a nice Brandon Duckworth. Dominic Brown. I like this... Um, Features like the 89, well, the old Tops all rookie, but I remember them from back close in 89. This is from Tops Lineage set. Don Brown once rated higher than Mike Trout on the prospect list. Travis Lee, Fleer Platinum, featuring that old school Fleer design. He was acquired in the uh, Kurt Schilling trade. Is it Chase Utley Mini? Bobby Abreu, High Tech Blue Parallel. Pete Incavilia, Beast in 93 for the Phils. He was with the Phils for about three years. Came up in Texas with the Rangers, big power hitter. 
kind of went straight to the majors, no minor league action. I believe Brown is out of Major League Baseball. I think he is, uh, last I heard, he was trying to become a pitcher or something. Bryce Harper, 64, awesome set. There's a Mike Schmidt, tall boy. Here's a sweet Benito Santiago, finest refractor. Chase Utley, classic set there. It's an Utley and Gavin Floyd gold parallel. Jose Mesa refractor. It's number to four forty nine gold refractor. He at one point was the Phillies' all-time saves leader, but he seemed to blow a lot of saves too. I mean, overall his results were solid. Sam Thompson, he's a Hall of Famer. Would love to pick up one of his cards. They are, uh, his playing day cards are not cheap at all. Francisco Liriano, bizarre card. Part of the Corona short in 2020. Didn't pitch for the Phillies ever. Never appeared in a game with them. But he got a card and inherited a chai number. He was with him in spring training and all that, and then I think he ended up opting out. Didn't actually uh, pitch in the big leagues, and still got a Phillies card. Here's an awesome refractor. Tops 52, Scott Rowland. And a Hunter Pence insert from Tops Heritage. It's a sticker um, based on a set that they actually made back in the day. All right, some more top-loaded stuff. And then, uh, well, I got a whole nother big stack of top-loaded stuff. I got autos. I got slab stuff. Got some pre-wars, a nice Jimmy Rollins top stars. Harper, black parallel from Update. Tomas Perez. Uh, there was one game I was... I forget. I think we went... I can't remember exactly... I know my brothers, I can't remember if my dad was there or not, but I know a few of my brothers were with me and my uncle, and uh, we uh, were leaving the game, we left late, we were hanging out doing something afterwards, and uh, we're getting ready to, we're going straight, kind of cutting through, and then there's another lane that comes, um, to hop on to uh, I-95, and I look over and I was like, yo, it's Tomas Perez, and everyone like looked over and he just was like waved and then took off jumped onto the uh entrance to the highway but he was a nice utility player for a few years with the phillies here's a scott Rowland prime prospect from 95 bowman it's a nice decades best insert ryan howard 3d zach wheeler green refractor cole hamels Turn back the clock tops now. Named NLCS MVP. Here's a card that caught fire a little bit last year. Features Pete Rose. Major League Baseball cards are not supposed to feature Pete Rose. Zach Wheeler, Allen and Ginter X. Mike Timlin, gold parallel. Mike Timlin was part of the deal... Um, when they traded Scott Roll into the Cardinals. And I remember them making a big deal about how he has value. And the thought was they were going to flip him a couple days later. And they ended up keeping him for the rest of the year. So Bryce Harper. Foil parallel. Brad Miller from Topps Total. He's having a really nice year this year with the Phils. He was with them a couple years ago. He went to the Cardinals in 2020 and is back. D.D. Gregorius Orange Parallel from Stadium Club. Some play ball cards. 39 play balls. Names are featured on the back. But just some old school stuff. Very neat. Mike Schmidt Stadium Club Chrome. Bryce Harper. 
Bryce Harper Instavision insert. Those are case hits. Some Bryce Harper Tops 206 Sweet Caporal. Bryce Harper Inception. Bryce Harper Action Variation. Harper Game Used Base Relic from his debut. Toby Borland Sport Flicks. I remember he was involved in a pretty big bench clearing brawl. Jeff Juden, I mentioned in my last video, he actually hit a grand slam. On Sunday Night Baseball, Bobby Munoz, he was acquired from the Yankees in the Terry Mulholland trade. He was a nice Jimmy Rollins Upper Deck Vintage. Another Upper Deck Jimmy Rollins. Upper Deck Ovation, Scott Rowland. 95 Select Certified Edition, Lenny Dykstra. Placido Polanco, Jimmy Rollins, nice red refractor from 2019. 2009 Topps Chrome, Cole Hamill's Refractor, Aaron Nolan, Aaron Rowan, Gold Parallel, Red Refractor, Bryce Harper, Gene Segura Refractor, Dallas Green, Fleer Ultra, All uh, Vet Team, Nick Maton out of 2021 Bowman, it's a mojo. Some WizKids cards from TCMA. Richie Ashburn, Robin Roberts, Stan Lapata, Puddinhead Jones, Sisler, Seminick, Granny Hamner. Is a cool Tops 52 rookie card of Carlos Ruiz. Jimmy Rollins, Black Refractor from Heritage. Those are numbered to 60. Appreciate those watching live, hitting that like button. There's a nice Scott Rowland insert from Topps. Victorino, orange refractor from Topps Chrome Black, Bryce Harper. Modern day Grover Cleveland, Alexander. Terry Mulholland playing card, Woolworth. Baseball highlight, Steve Bedrosian, who won the Cy Young in the late 80s. I think it was 87. Reggie Taylor. High draft pick, big time prospect for the Phillies. Really never made it with them. Uh, I think he had a cup of coffee in Philadelphia and then hung around a few years with Cincinnati. Todd Zeal, I remember him as a prospect coming up. He had an okay career, spent a year in Philadelphia. Ryan Howard, who won the home run derby. Some Ginter Chromes. Greg Jeffries Refractor. Fleer Metal Universe, Mickey Morandini, Classic Set, 97 Flair Showcase. This is uh, the parallel with the different back legacy collection. Ricky Metallico, Refractor, Dykstra, Dykstra. Another Todd Zeal. Panito, G. Bruce, Orange from 2021 Tops, Chrome X Fractor, Real Muto is a nice Mike Schmidt refractor, John Cruck autograph out of 2021 Top Series One, Chrome Sapphire, Kyle Garlic autograph, he was a 2020 Philly, now with Minnesota. Von Hayes Fleer stickers. What up, Lou Rock? Back for round two, buddy. Dykstra Cruck. Here's a cool one here. 1992 ticket coupon featuring the Philly Fanatic. Sid Fernandez. Mets fans will remember him. He was a Philly for a short while. Kevin Stocker.
<laughs> the Harper. Uh, this is the hot box. Bryce Harper, Hunting Orange Parallel, Steve Carlton, Burger King, Von Hayes, Fleer Baseball All-Stars, Ricky Jordan, Mike Schmidt, 101, Chase Utley. It's a printing plate, Harper X-Fractor. Classic Best, Mike Schmidt. Some more refractors, Hoskins, Nola. Beautiful 60 design, Brad Lidge refractor. So Larry Boa heritage card. Tony Perez, Hall of Famer that played with the Phils late in his career. There's a Metallico. I forget what these were called. Museum collection. So cool. I always found this to be an awesome card. I think it's a Sunoco giveaway. Dream Team. Richie Ashburn, Robin Roberts. Oh, there's lots of vintage in here. Went over some pre war stuff. Alec Bohm, Andrew Knapp Auto, Scott Rowland. Is a nice one. World Series Heroes. Kurt Schilling. It was spectacular in the 93 series. Game 5 start. Kevin Millwood. Gold parallel. Brandon Woodruff. He was terrible for the Phils last year. They acquired him around the deadline. Terrible trade. Um, but what makes me laugh is during the Topps rip party to start the year, when they, you know, the first day they came out, Ken Golden was breaking some. And his son was opening some cards, and I guess they're Phillies fans. They're from New Jersey, uh, South Jersey. And uh, his son, who's young, just starts ripping Woodruff. He got Woodruff in a pack and started ripping how bad he was. It's an Utley Prism. Some more Ginter Chromes, Heritage. Man, they're always awesome looking. The Keith Shore, Bryce Harper, and a Green Parallel. What's up, Ray? Alec Bohm, rookie. Dale Murphy, X-Fractor. This is from like 2005, finest. Black Parallel, Raul Ibanez. Purple Parallel, I believe that was Toys R Us exclusive. Carlos Ruiz. Yellow Parallel, Reese Hoskins. Is a nice one too. Topps uh, National Chickle. Refractor, Victorino. Baseball, Scratch Off, Rich Allen. I'm taking a peek at some Ashburns. Got a container of Ashburns, part of my Ashburn run, though who knows where I put the rookie. I moved stuff around during that last stream. 1950 Bowman Ashburn and a five and a half. Love this card. The Bowman color is another uh, 50 Bowman in a five. 51 Blueback. Another awesome Ashburn card. 51 Bowman. It's a hell of a nice looking two, right? A couple of neat ones. 47 to 66 exhibits. First name incorrect. Totally misspelled. 54 red man tobacco. Ashburn in a five. Fifty-four Bowman, fifty-five Bowman, and a seven. Fifty-six tops, fifty-seven tops. Got a few of them. Six, three, fifty-eight tops, fifty-nine tops. Hopefully everyone had a good time checking out all the streams and uh, the national. Hopefully people are psyched up for that. Here's a nice one. 59 tops. NL Hitting Kings, Ashburn and Maze. Oof, that's a Cubs card. Oh, we got some Cubs Ashburns. Mets, too.
82 big league collectibles, Ashburn. It's an okay looking card. It's certainly not my favorite. Last stack, 51 Bowman. Oh, man, it's nice. 54 tops. Starting lineup card from 96, Cooperstown Collection. 51 Burke Ross. 52 Burke Ross. 52 Bowman. 52 tops. 52 tops. 54 Red Heart. Tough card. That's pretty much a look at some of the Ashburns. I got a lot of stuff here to the left, but uh, let's loop over a little bit to some stuff over here on the right hand side. not the light that's getting it. All right, I showed off a few of these. All right, first up, testing out some other grading companies. CSG, these holders are outstanding. Their slabs are amazing. Like, they very well could be the best-looking slabs and best-feeling slabs. The label could use a little work. They probably should just, they'd be better off just providing uh, subgrades on every card. Here is HGA. Their, uh, their flips are pretty nice-looking. Their slabs are nice-looking, too. Uh, I'm still... Uh, you know, given the choice, SGC and PSA. Not a huge Beckett fan, personally. Here's a Johnny Callison, 61 post. 68 Bazooka, Bill White, hand cut in a five. 1969 Globe Imports, Richie Allen in a seven. Vintage Oddball Cards gave me the idea for them. 69 Globe Imports, Callison. Twenty twenty Gypsy Queen Harper Chrome Box Topper Blue Refractor eighty eight tops of Big Baseball twenty twenty tops Chrome Ben Baller Diamond Die Cut it's just a nice modern Harper Rainbow Foil. Bryce Harper from the Man Insert from Finest. 2020 Tops 206. Mike Schmidt, 9.5. Hoskins and Harper. Finest Duels. There's a nice Atomic Refractor from the 90 Bowman design of Bryce. I like this card a lot, too. 2020 Tops 582 Montgomery set 61 dice game. Tops 3D Harper. I wonder if they'll do that this year. Last year, I think they did it. You just couldn't buy it. It sold out so quick. Bowman Heritage Harper in a Gem 10. Harper 2020 Finest Flashbacks. Love the look of that card. Zach Wheeler living set. Harper photo variation from 2020 Tops. Real Muto, Tops 206. Chrome Sapphire, Bryce Harper. Atomic Refractor, Harper. Harper from Tops X Tatis. Harper tops now from the walk-off slam against the Cubbies. Here's a cool Harper 2019 tops now gem 10, 466 foot homer. Powers fills win over Rockies. So that game I was at, 
It was uh, my brother's, one of my brother's bachelor parties. So that was a uh, good memory. Happy to get a Topps Now card for that. It's a beautiful Dykstra refractor from Bowman's Best. D.D. Gregorius black refractor. Here's a cool Harper I was able to pull. Well, I bought it um, raw and was able to sub it. Got a 10 red mini refractor. So that's awesome. Showed off the super refractor of this during my other live stream. Gold parallel gem 10. Sky blue Harper. Bryce Harper number to 10. White parallel. Blue refractor. Another Bobby Abreu red. All right, Bryce Harper gold refractor from Ginter Chrome. Red refractor of JT Real Muto. Red refractor of Steve Carlton. Red refractor of Bryce Harper from Finest Flashbacks. I was so disappointed I did not acquire the super refractor of this card. It went for a high price, but... Le um, far less than I would have been willing to pay and I like just didn't get a bit off I was so frustrated alright here's a bunch of autographs Jeff Conine so I always liked Jeff Conine um, growing up when he was with the Marlins and uh, he was with the Phillies for a short period of time I thought it was awesome and was able to get that card at a very reasonable price and Jim Bunning was actually going to ask my dad about his uh, Perfecto this card is awesome. Cole Hamels, Bowman's best throwback auto. I mean, the shine is just out of this world. Kent DeColvey, he used to pitch so much. I remember him a little bit growing up. Pat Gillick, general manager of the 08 Phillies, Hall of Famer. Speaking of Hall of Famers, just a guy who was traded too early in his career, Fergie Jenkins. Bob Dernier autograph. This is cool. Um, great memory of him circling the bases with a walk-off inside the park home run. Awesome. Vance Worley. He uh, was pretty popular with the Phillies. I uh, remember one of my uncles who we brought to games a lot. Uh, the last game I remember going to with him before he uh, passed away. Uh, Vince, Vince Worley, I think, believe made his major league debut, part of a doubleheader against the Marlins. Here's a Ryan Madsen autograph. Victorino, Gypsy Queen. Bobby Abreu from Tribute. Placido Polanco. Randy Wolf. He was very good at the vet for a few years. Made an all-star game. Jeff Jenkins, part of the 08 team. Doug Glanville, super popular, late 90s Philly. Jim Eisenreich, part of the 93 Phils. Rico Bronia. Charlie Hayes made a big play. Well, he made an error, but he also made a big play in the Terry Mulholland no-hitter. His son, Cabrian, one of the better prospects in baseball this year, is a Ryan Howard Ginter. Here's a card I was so happy to add, and I ended up adding a couple. Pedro Martinez autograph from Topps Dynasty. This is Gene Segura. Here's some uh, heavy hitters from Dynasty. Roy Halladay. These cards have, well, they're pretty pricey now, and they've dried up a lot. This is another Halladay. Real Muto. I really, I guess this real Muto is from last year's, but I didn't really do a lot of uh, searching for last year's. I think they made a number of Phillies. Alec Bohm. There's a sweet Harper autograph from Tops 206. That was acquired via trade. Nice Halliday Heritage. Halliday Tier 1. It's a Harper. This is a really nice set put out by Tops. I think they're limited to 10, but the Tops Reverence set. Relic Auto of Harper via Tops Now. Aaron Nola and Steve Carlton. Duel. I pulled that. This is awesome. Randy Johnson, John Cruck, Duel Autograph. Famous at bat in an all star game. 
Very cool. Here's another sweet Halliday. Another Halliday Tier 1. Jim Tomei Dynasty. Reese Hoskins Dynasty. Carlton Dynasty. Would love to uh, do like one of every Philly they made in Dynasty. A few PSA slabs. 2019 Tops Allen Ginter X, Harper, Mini Red, Gem 10. Number to 5. Real Muto, that's the uh, vintage stock. Here's a cool Pedro Martinez from SP Authentic. That would look sweet signed. Real Muto, tops 3D. Von Hayes, Desert Shield. Just a good looking holiday refractor, nice shine. Mike Schmidt. All-time great card from 90 Donruss. Pretty, pretty good 2005 Tops dual card. Howard and Hamels. Pedro Martinez, Gem Mint 10, 2009 Tops Heritage. Dynamic Duels, Schmidt and Carlton. So I got that table done. And we got all this. But, I actually got a bunch of stuff to the side here. This is all stuff I went through. But I still got a whole nother container and uh, some Ginter Autos that I did not get a chance to show off. So we'll try and uh, get through those pretty quick. Again, those who watch live, definitely appreciate it. Um, and those who watch the archive, I appreciate that as well. Hopefully... You enjoy something, get some ideas for some stuff that you collect, maybe some teams you collect. There's a few coins, 71 tops coins, Tony Taylor, 1910, 12, Sweet Caporal, Sherry McGee. Some little buttons and stuff from back when I was a kid, Tommy Herr, Darren Dalton, Lenny Dykstra, Mike Schmidt. Uh, this is a second edition. I uh, had so much stuff I didn't get to show off that I just figured, what the hell, let me go live again. Pat Nishik, Revere. Love the Allen & Ginter collection, so pretty much slabbed every Philly I have acquired. It's a nice Jason Worth. Nola, Carlos Ruiz. I mean, this is the type of video, you're sorting cards or something, you just flip it on. You get ideas of some stuff you might want to pick up for your collection. Nice Carlton, Johnny Cruck, Nola Franco, another Crocker. Ibanez, Victorino, Charlie Manuel, Cole Hamels. Sweet Tomei, which I had already showed off, but Abreu, Michael Young, Crook and Blue, Jim Bunning, Steve Carlton, Cole Hamill, Scott Kingery, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot. Kingery, Tommy Joseph, I don't even have a count. I have, uh, I pulled out a lot of Philly stuff. There's a lot, obviously, I just knew I didn't have time for. Um, but I got a giant, like, monster box of non-certified autographs of just Phillies and then a whole other one of other players. Roman Quinn, Franco, Nishik. Hoskins, Jake Thompson, Bunning, and Hamels. These are just my Ginters. 
Cole Hamels, Pedro Feliz, he actually had the go-ahead RBI in the World Series clincher. Real Muto, Dom Brown, Wes Helms, Moyer, another Franco, Jorge Alfaro, who was sent to the Marlins in the Real Muto trade. Sweet Cliff Lee, Roy Oswalt, Franco Arietta, Crawford, Nola, Nishik, and Jason Worth. This is a Granny Hamner Raw. Nice Robin Roberts game piece. Chef Boyer D. Mike Schmidt. Kellogg's Pete Rose. 82 top stickers. Pete Rose. Some more slabs. Getting close, getting close. It's Art Mahaffey, 1960 tops. 53 tops. Howie Fox. Smokey Burgess, 53 tops. These are some beaters, but I mean, they look good. 53 tops. Connie Ryan. Ken Heitzelman. Stan Lapata, 56. 57 tops. Mac Burke. Jack Mayer. Willie Jones. Jim Owens. Volmy Thomas. I try and uh, build a decent little collection. Gosh, I got stuff everywhere, guys. No idea how difficult it is to move this stuff. All right, let's see what I can do to make this easier. Probably not much. All right, I have a, one more container of slabs. The only other thing I didn't really get into at all are some of these minis. Here's some minis. Nola. It's a Pat Burrell Tops 206. It's a nice Richie Outland, Goodwin Champions, Sherry McGee, Obeck. Nice Goodwin Champions, Utley. This is a sweet set. Scott Rowland, Schmidt Mini Gypsy Queen, Cracker Jack Mini, a Veteran Stadium. Harper, Carlton, this is from the recent set, Nola and Segura. These Ginter Crow Minis, if you can get the Hall of Famers or rookies cheap, I'd grab them. They're like crazy tough. Some non fillies that got mixed into this stack here. Utley, Roland, Schmidt, Brad Lidge, Hamels, Rollins, Robin Roberts, Lieberthal. Pedro Feliz, there's a nice Mike Schmidt and Carlton. All right, and the final few slabs. Well, it's more than a few, but should go somewhat quick. It's the Dixie Lid. What's up, Bink? 5052 Royal Desserts, Dick Sisler. 1980 Laughlin Lefty O'Doul. 61 Fleer Grover Cleveland Alexander. 69 Tops Decals Chris Short. 1970 Milton Bradley Tony Taylor. 52 Burke Ross Del Ennis. 50 Callahan Hall of Fame, Grover Alexander. It's a nice 62 Venezuela Tops, Dallas Green. Definitely very difficult to find these. 
69 Decalage, Richie Allen, Art Mahaffey, 63 Post Serial, Ruben Amaro, whose son also played for the Phillies and was general manager of the Phillies at the time, 62 Post. 69 MLB Photo Stamps, John Briggs. 55 All-American Sports Club, Bill Nicholson. 61 Golden Press, Grover Cleveland. A couple others, 75 Tops Mini, Larry Christensen. Jack Baldwin, 64 Tops Stand Up. 69 Tops Decals, Chris Short. 1950 Drake's Eddie Wakis in an excellent five. That's cool. Eddie Wakis, kind of the inspiration for the movie The Natural. Pretty interesting. Let me try and bring over the rest of this container. Move some of this stuff to the side. All right, this looks like a mix. Here's an 89 Schmidt and an 89 Bowman. Sixty-three Fleer, Johnny Callison. Seventy-nine TCMA, Kurt Simmons. Seventy-six Tops, Jay Johnstone. Got that one from the National, from the National in a big bulk deal. Eighty-one Tops World Series, Phillies win first World Series. Got that one, graded myself, so pretty happy with a nine on that. Tony Perez trade it. Carlton eighty-four Fleer, Schmidt nineteen eighty Tops. 79 tops. I feel like I need more space still. Sixty Fleer Hack Wilson in a Phillies uniform. Sixty Leaf Dallas Green. 84 Purina Schmidt. Chris Short, 70 Kellogg's. 1941 Play Ball, Pinky May. 206 George McQuillan, Ball in Hand in a One. Cool looking card. And we got a T206 Sweet Caporal, Red Doin. Couple more stacks. It's a nice T207 brown background. George Chalmers. 1914 Cracker Jack Red Doan. Would love to get the girl of Cleveland in this set. Obviously, that'd be pricey. Al Demery. 1915. Nineteen twenty one E two twenty National Caramel Jimmy Ring. Cool card. Guy looks like it's like a hundred, but cool card nonetheless. John Bates. Thirty five Gowdy four and one Wilson Allen Johnard and Brickle. Awesome card, 34 Diamond Stars, Jimmy Wilson. 41 Play Ball, Chuck Klein. 34 Gowdy, Don Hurst. 1934 Batter Up, Ethan Allen. 33 Gowdy, Flint Rem. 
and a one. Thirty-three Gaudi Fred Breckel, three and a half. Jim Elliott. 1908 Fan Craze NL, Charlie Pittinger. 1911 M116 Sporting Life, Dode Pasker in a six. 33 Tattoo Orbit, Phil Collins in a two. On the last pile, a couple stacks here. 1941 Gaudi, Vito, Tamulus, and a one and a half. 1923 W515, Clarence Walker. 1887 Allen and Ginter, Joseph Mulvey, one and a half. Love that old Ginter. 1886-87, old Judge, N172, Sid Farrar, one and a half. 1922 American Caramel Lee Meadows two and a half. 1922 American Caramel Wrightstone one and a half. 1911 S74 Silks Michael Doolin Authentic. Del Ennis 48 Leaf and a four and a half. 1933 Gowdy, Jackie Warner in a three. Maury Arnovich in a six from 40 play ball. Chuck Klein play ball in a four. Nineteen thirty-nine play ball Spud Davis in a five. Is an awesome card. Love this card. 1935 Diamond Stars Blondie Ryan in a two. 1921 E253 Oxford Confectionery Lee Meadows one and a half. Tough, tough cards to come by. Cy Williams, who was a power star for the Phils. PSA one. There's another Del Ennis. Jimmy Wilson, batter up. Sal Johnson, 39 play ball. Another DeLong, Chuck Klein, this one's a two. And final card for the night is a 1909 E102 set of 25, Sherry McGee, who many believe belongs in the Hall of Fame. And he has a shot every now and then he ends up on a ballot. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Those who uh, tuned in, I appreciate it very much. Just wanted to finish showing off what I had pulled out. I mean, I could probably do like a 24 to 48 hour live stream just to show off the collection, but a little piece of it, some of the most meaningful stuff. That off to do. Appreciate you watching as always. Comment below, let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.